Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I will show you how you can fix a specific issue. And the specific issue is with the airports. As you can see on the world map, you can select an airport right by populating the airport here and then selecting the runway. Or if you want to start from a gate or ramp, you can select a gate or ramp from here. Uh, but there's also another option. And that other option is the live airport activity. And for some reason, it sometimes stops to work. It happens after updates in some cases. Sometimes it happens because you did something yourself. So I also experienced this issue recently and I thought, like, hey, how can I fix this issue? So then I searched on the internet and of course found a solution. And the solution is really easy. If that happens, go to the uh, flight conditions and make sure that the live traffic is enabled, right? As you just saw, the uh, view was empty. So now we'll switch on the live traffic. We'll go again to the uh, live airport activity. Sometimes you need to reopen it. Sometimes you need to wait a few minutes because it takes some time before it populates uh, the departure and arrivals. So let's give it a few uh, seconds or minutes. And then it should show all the departures and arrivals from, in this case, the Skippo airport. If it takes too long, like this, sometimes I uh, need to reselect the airport. So let's select it again. And then let's wait. And here you see all the departures and arrivals populating. And the nice thing is you can, for example, uh, select this one. Uh, and then select fly so you can select one of the entries and then select fly and uh, if i would do that right it would say hey do you want to create a flight plan based on this flight i'll say okay do it uh, then i can hide the information again and then i can zoom out and in this case it has set up a flight from amsterdam to somewhere in the us probably let me go around yeah so to george bush international right keep in mind that it sets the flight by default to uh vfr so direct gps but you can change it either to four to four which means that it will add several uh beacons but in some scenarios that's not available as just displayed here if that happens then uh, try the other ones for example low altitude but for a transatlantic flight Using an A320, that makes most sense to select the high altitude, right? So the low altitude airways are below a certain, I would say, um, feet. I think it's uh, below 10,000 feet or something, if I'm correct. It could differ also per continent, so keep an eye on that. And the high altitudes are really, I would say, high, like uh, uh, 4,000 uh, or 40, 41,000 uh, feet, for example. So once you did that, you can click on fly and you can, I would say, follow the real flight uh, using the, the flight plan uh, av available uh, based on the uh, departures and arrivals, but well, in this case departures, of course, uh, from Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, right? You can do the same thing, of course, for uh, departures. I made a joke of it, but you can say, okay, hey, I want to go from Amsterdam, then I want to see the live traffic give it some minutes because it takes some time so here for example i say hey i want to use uh Alanda, right so you can see that there's sometimes a lag so you need to wait till it fully populates and then you can say okay hey i want to create a flight uh, based on this flight in this case klm 1116 then press ok again and we'll, we'll hide the information and here you will see the flight from uh, Alanda airport uh, to Amsterdam Schiphol airport so that's the way around and to swap I would say the departure and arrival simply press this button and then it will uh, I would say revert right so I'm gonna do that so now it goes the other way around so here ends this short how-to which show where we showed how to fix the uh, live airport activity I uh, hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you 
If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to add them below the video in the comment box. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.